Not only is it freezing today, I mean, it's only in the teens right now, but tonight, there's supposed to be a wind chill factor of 20 below zero Fahrenheit. That's pretty darn cold for us here in Illinois. And I decided to come out here Yesterday I came out and replaced the winter bee kinds and some of them were okay. I had to replace a few of them. But today, today we're going to come back out here and I'm going to wrap these hives up. I haven't really wrapped them yet because they, uh, we haven't had a really harsh winter yet. I did wrap the little one that we've been watching because uh, it's so small I don't expect it to make it. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, kind of throw everything I can at it, feed it, wrap it and just try to get it through the winter. One single deep and they're getting smaller as the winter goes on. And I did wrap one a little bit yesterday just to get a head start. So today I'm gonna to take some bat insulation because tonight's chill factor of 20 below zero with a strong wind is gonna be rough. Now, fortunately for me, tonight the wind's gonna be out of the Northwest. So it's gonna be blowing this way. That means my building is gonna help protect it some, but you know how wind kind of swirls and everything. Um, so I'm gonna wrap these hives up now. It's getting a little bit later in the day. Uh, I wanted them to get as much sun as they could right now before I wrapped them. And like I said, it's about 19 degrees right now. So we're gonna wrap them up and I'll show you how I do that. Now, I don't need to wear beekeeping gloves. I mean, I do see a bee flying, but I, I'm gonna wear these gloves only because I've worked with insulation a lot over my years, like in buildings that I've built or attics that I've insulated. And this glass, fiberglass insulation can get on my hands and irritate me afterward <laughs> for a while. I don't like that feeling. And so I'm just gonna put these gloves on to keep the little glass particles out of my hands. Now, this is a great feature if you've never obtained one of these, I love this. It's a stapler gun that's a battery operated lithium battery staple gun. And it's so nice to use these because you can just go up to a hive and staple it like that and no cords or anything. So I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. I think these are like 50 or 60 bucks and they use, they're just a standard stapler. Uh, what is that called? A T50, T51, I forget now, but standard stapler. So what I'll be doing today is I'll be stapling the insulation onto the hives, wrapping it around it. I don't expect these staples to, to be the only thing that holds the wrapping on here. I'm going to use some duct tape to do the rest, actually Gorilla Tape. The Gorilla Tape will help in case the winds really pound it, it won't rip it off. I really like this size. Uh, the width of this insulation. I don't remember what width it is right now, but it's perfect uh, for getting two layers on there for me and having a little bit of overhang. Uh, again, I'm using a winter bee kind, and so the upper entrance of the hive here is open, and that way the bees can come and go out of this top uh, very easily. They'll come and go. I'm just going to wrap all the way down to the bottom that way I don't have to worry about the wind kind of sweeping up in the bottom. Uh, this is the Gorilla Tape that I like to use. And it, it doesn't stick as well when it's cold like it is today. So you have to do your best to get it to, to overlap itself. It may not stick to the paper good. You don't want it real tight. I want the insulation to be a little fluffy so that I can get more insulation power out of it. If I, if I comp the more I compress the insulation, the less R value it's gonna have. But I do wanna have it enough where it's a pretty tight, snug fit when I insulate it when I tape it together like this. So as long as the tape overlaps, then that's really good. I'm just gonna put one piece around each section. Oh, 
All right, that's good. So that's how I'm gonna wrap each of these hives. This is the hive that has eaten a ton of winter bee kinds. They're on number five, I think. And I will say they have slowed down considerably. I did add another one yesterday, but they're really doing a good job eating these winter bee kinds and staying healthy. And I haven't wrapped them up yet, but today I do wanna wrap them. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a good wrapping. And they're in a good position here. They have southern sun hitting them and the building off to the north here to give them wind protection. I'm out of staples. Gosh, there's there's some bees flying, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to uh, actually replace the staples in this staple gun. It's got a little door here at the back. You push down on this, slide that open, and slide your next uh, ream of staples in like that, and close it, and it's ready to go. Oh, isn't that great? A lot of them are flying out of the entrance at the top. I had to back away a little bit because I don't have a hat and a veil on. All right, good enough. Let's go ahead and taper down now. I'm gonna put one more on the bottom. Let me think, I think I wanna put, uh, I don't think they're using the bottom. I mean, I can see them on the top a lot. Let's get ahead, go ahead and get this secure here. Now, some of you are probably wondering, you know, why are bees flying at 19 degrees? Are these bees gonna make it back in? Are they gonna fly out there and die? A um, little bit of both. <laughs> I, have, I have confidence that some of them will make it back in, but on the other hand, it is cold. Now, I'm trying to decide about putting that bottom layer on, which I kind of think it's a good idea because I'm gonna take it off. I'm not gonna leave it on there, you know, for the whole rest of the season. But I think if I can put that on there, especially since they're elevated up a little bit, it's going to give them more wind protection in case the wind does start coming out of the south. So let's do that. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, again, if you join me late, it's really not the staples that are holding, holding this in. It's more of the tape that I'm going to put on that will hold this down. I just need the staples to hold it in place till I tape it. <sighs> All right. I'm glad I did the bottom layer. I feel good about that. Perfect. We won't, I won't uh, bore you with the process of doing all of them, but 
just kind of want to give you an idea what it looks like. Uh, but while we're here, I want to show you this one thing here. The entrance here. You can see the bees right here near the entrance of the winter bee kind. Some of you wondered if they see daylight, will that draw them out and they'll fly and die? But as you can see, they just sit up there and kind of look out and they kind of say, hey, it's too cold, we'll stay in here. I want to make sure they have clearance here for the winter be kind in entrance and exit. Let's do a bottom one on this one as well. Perfect. That one strip of tape will hold both sections in there. Wow, I like the way that is. And there they are. Well, I'm glad I got that done. I'm glad I got my winter bee kinds on yesterday. And uh, glad I got them, these wrapped up because, boy, tonight it's going to be rough. So it's good to be out of the studio and outside, but the tips of my fingers are frozen. I got to get inside. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, those of you that haven't seen my giveaway, uh, be sure and watch the video about this giveaway. I'm going to be selecting the winner in a few days, maybe three to five days in the future. You've still got time. Click on this video right here and you'll see my video on what you could win, what we're giving away. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.